Hi there and welcome to this exclusive online version of the Ultimate News Quiz. I'm Martha Carney and in case you're wondering this is the high-tech studio where I present the Today programme in the mornings complete with a quilt made by my mother which is very good for soundproofing. Many of you will have come to our live event over the years where famous faces from television and radio battle it out. It's been running for 14 years and we've raised more than a million pounds with the generous support of the Premier League. We're very grateful to their sponsorship. We're going to be back in live form, but this March we're offering you this short online version of the quiz with 20 questions posed by some of our celebrity supporters. As well as taking part, please do make a donation to our chosen charity, Action for Children. They've been working tirelessly to help children and families who've been suffering so much during this pandemic. For £10, you could pay for a day's food for a child. £25 could pay for gas and electricity for a family for a week. Or £40 could provide warm winter clothes for a child. If you donate before midnight on March the 31st, then you could be in line of winning a special prize. To find out more about this, you can visit actionforchildren.uk slash UNQ. There's also a link in the box below this video. So please do give generously if you can. Charities have had it very hard this year. Have fun playing along. Do share it with friends and family. We're keen to go viral. The answers will be available at the end of this video. So if you've got a pen and paper, Get ready to play. Joan Hockard from Poole in Dorset died on the 29th of March last year. What was her claim to fame? Can you name the garden centre in Philadelphia where Rudy Giuliani held a press conference attacking the outcome of the US presidential election? Who did Donald Trump tell to stand back and stand by during the first presidential debate? Can you name Prince Harry and Meghan's new philanthropic foundation? To the nearest million, how many people watch the Meghan and Harry interview with Oprah Winfrey on ITV? The Deputy Chief Medical Officer for England, Jonathan Van Tam, or JVT as he's known, has become a bit of a cult figure. His grandfather was the Prime Minister of which country? Can you name the hit documentary charting the story of the Bee Gees, which was released last year? Which 1980s classic TV series was remade and shown on Channel 5 last year? Whose statue in Bristol was torn off its plinth and thrown into the docks last June? September the 16th, 2020 was the 400th anniversary of which pioneering voyage? Name the Scottish MP who was arrested after flouting Covid restrictions by travelling to and from London after testing for the virus. Who had a posthumous number one hit in the UK iTunes charts last May? Last year, footballers taking the knee became a symbol of solidarity with Black Lives Matter in the UK. Which sportsman invented that particular protest? In which popular restaurant did Rishi Sunak serve food to customers at the launch of his Eat Out to Help Out scheme last year? Which American football team dropped its name and its logo in response to protests from Native Americans? Which TV game show host had a best-selling debut novel last year? 
can you name the unexpected British victor of the Giro d'Italia cycling race in 2020? What made its debut in 1971 and was retired last year by British Airways? All right, so what do the leaders of Mexico, Brazil, Guatemala, the USA, Bulgaria and France have in common? A giant African rat called Magawa was awarded a gold medal for bravery by an international animal charity. What was his achievement? Hi everyone, those were your 20 questions. The answers are going to follow in a moment. If you enjoyed it, please do share this virtual version of the Ultimate News Quiz with friends or family. And please remember to donate to Action for Children who have been working so hard to help families during the pandemic. You can do that by clicking the link in the information box or by going to the website actionforchildren.uk slash unq. Remember, if you donate before midnight on the 31st of March, you could be in line for a special prize, so it is worth doing. Thank you for supporting such an important cause, and we're very grateful also to our sponsors, the Premier League. And now, here are the answers. <laughs> 